here with uh, Fin Folk Fishing and today I got a little bit of a different video for y'all. I'm going to do a um, buy and cook video I guess you could call it. I don't know. May title of that may not. But what I'm doing is I was hungry and looking for something for dinner and unfortunately all we have in the freezer right now are great value tilapia skinless and boneless fillets and uh, I figured I would do something a little bit different and try something I've never actually done. Normally the way that I cook these little cheap fillets is I'll uh, put them in the oven, put some uh, lemon juice on them or lemon pepper, something like that, and just bake them in the oven. But instead of just doing it like that, which is the typical way I'd normally do it, I wanted to try and pan fry them with this Zatarain's fish fry. And this is the same thing I use in my uh, bass catch, clean, and cook videos. And just see how it tastes. I have no idea what it's going to taste like. I've never ate fried tilapia. I don't even know if people normally fry tilapia. I haven't. I have no clue. I have no idea. And I hadn't looked into it. I was like, well, I'll watch some YouTube videos on it, see if it's actually going to taste good or look it up, see if it's going to taste good. I was like, nope. We're going to do this without knowing anything. That's how we're going to do this. That's how we're going to approach this. And sometimes you just got to take a leap, man. You just got to try something different. And that's what we're going to do today. So you guys keep back. Uh, we're going to get the prep uh, part of the video going right now. And then we'll do the cook part. And then we'll do the feasting part. I'll let you guys know what I think about the tilapia fillets breaded with the Zatarain's fish fry uh, pan seared. And I'll let you know, you know what I think about it and if I, if I think it's good. If I don't, I'll let you know that too. So let's get to it. These fillets always come just like this. One whole big, you know, one slab basically. And since I'm going to be frying them for the sake of uh, trying to fit as many in the pan as I can. I think I'm going to try to cut these on down, just like this, just right down the center of that where that bloodline would be. I'm going to cut it right on down. Hopefully, you can see that on the camera. All right, just like that. And I've only got about three fillets, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do them all that like that. And then I can just batter them up and lay them in there how I want to. Try to cook all of them, maybe all of them at one time. So yeah, I'm going to get the rest of the uh, fillets cut up and then we're going to go to the breading process. just got done cooking it and I'm about to try it really quick and give you my quick thoughts on it. I'm not going to use any ketchup, nothing like that. I'm just going to eat it, just the breading and the fish. So let's try a little piece. Oh wow, that actually looks pretty good. Pretty flaky. Top is really flaky actually. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it looks really, really good. It's actually not bad at all, honestly. I think that this one I did put in some egg before I battered it, which made it a little bit thicker of a crust. Look, if you're on a budget and you're at Walmart and you can get some uh, great value tilapia and you can fry it, we, like I said, we normally bake it, with, put a little bit of lemon juice on it, bake it in the oven that way, but get you some of that Zatarain's that uh, I use in this video and fry it. And I just pan fried mine and I'm telling you, it's really good. It's not bad. 
I mean, it's not like the best thing in the world, you know? But, or I guess I should say, it's not as good as like fresh fried bass, in my opinion, or fresh fried catfish. But, you know, for it being great value, Walmart bought cheap bag of uh, tilapia. I think the bag is only like, what, like $10 or something like that. I can't really remember, but it's not a lot. You get a bunch of fillets. What do you think about it? you like it? Yeah. Is it as good as the bass, you think? Mm, not as good as the bass. It's not, is it? But it's okay. It's not bad, though. Not bad. How much is that bag at Sam's? Or Walmart? 10 bucks, 12 bucks, isn't it? Is it more than 10? Yeah, it's about 10 or 12, huh? Uh, Something like that? Probably not. Yeah, that's not good as that fresh bass, though. No. No, it's not. It's still good. But yeah, that's going to be it for us. Uh, like I said, not as good as the bass that I normally do, but if you buy that kind of tilapia from Walmart and get tired like I do, we, like I said, we normally bake in the oven. And if you get tired of doing that, try this. It's, it's, not, it's not terrible. It's, I mean, it's probably, I don't know. Six out of ten, maybe six out of ten, seven out of ten, something like that. So, yeah, it's really not that bad. Guys, I just want to thank you for watching this uh, video. I know it's something a little bit different that I, we don't normally do on this channel. I just thought it'd be cool to try the Great Value brand uh, tilapia from Walmart and fry it and just see how it tastes. But once again, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe for future content. And if you want to check out any of my other videos, be sure to uh, check those out. I have two videos right now of Catch and Cook uh, Bass, and those are pretty cool little videos. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to check those out. also got some fishing videos um, on the channel. And yeah, once again, thanks guys. Thanks for tuning in. Take it easy. Gotcha, buddy.